Uh, this is the CS Shield Tournament, and I'm going to go over how to defeat Wise Mari. Um, something quick I'd like to go over. CS Shield Tournament is uh, really like all pet battles, except uh, RNG is more likely to hate you here. All the strategies I'm going to give you will work most of the time. Thing is, though, to win the CS Shield Tournament, you have to get in a uh, instance where it works seven times and usually RNG is going to get you during one of those fights so usually your first attempt through the tournament will not be successful but if you do the tips I say uh, one or two maybe three attempts and you should get the tournament complete now for wise Mari the pets I use are amber moth with alpha strike cocoon strike moth dust mip Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling, which is an engineering pet, so you'll have to uh, either have an engineer and make it, which will get you an uncommon version, and then use a stone to upgrade him. Use my uh, two pet guides, and you should get stones, a lot of stones to help you out with stuff like that. And you'll get Breath, Thunderbolt, and Decoy. And for my third slot, I have Garden Frog. All frogs are the same. So any frog, you should be able to get this combo. Water Jet, Healing Wave, Frog Kiss. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to mix things up and start out with Moth Dust. Follow it up with a cocoon strike and hopefully dodge that. Uh, well, he didn't do it, well, so I did dodge his attack. And now just follow it up with alpha strikes until Carpe Diem's defeated. One more alpha strike should do it. Now go ahead and switch out your uh, Amber Moth with your mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. I'm going to go ahead and throw out Thunderbolt here. He just did a Soul Ward, so I'll do. Uh, Actually, it blocks a single attack, so I'll just go ahead and do a breath. Now let's go ahead and throw down a decoy before I take too much damage. Now just follow it up with breaths. Yeah, I think I screwed up the first round. Seems more logical to save Thunderbolt for when he does his soul ward. His breath just does so much damage. There he goes. Now I usually like to just leave my uh, mechanical Pandaren Dragonling in there until uh, it's dead. So I'll just keep on using him. See how this works. This turn might kill him off, though. Now I'm gonna go back to my old tactic here with Cocoon Strike, then Moth Dust. Ooh, and that was a mistake. So uh, when you bring your Amber Moth back out, uh, keep an eye on the lookout for his pump. It should still work out when Alpha Strike should defeat him. And that's how you can defeat Wise Mari in the CS Shield Tournament. We are at Linktron 4000 at this CS Shield Tournament. And uh, the strategy I'm going to use for this guy. First slot will be Pandaren Water Spirit with 
Water Jet, Whirlpool, and Dive, Core Hound Pup with Thrash, Howl, and Burrow, Searing Scorchling with Burn, Immolate, and Conflagrate. And we'll see how this fight goes. First thing I usually like to do is throw down a whirlpool if uh, the option's out there just to get that started because it does so much damage. I'm going to go ahead and follow it up with a dive. And this turn should do a nice amount of damage to this guy. Very good chance this one water jet should finish him off. No! RNG's awesome. Now we've got him cleared out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and pop up in our whirlpool. I'm going to keep on hitting this guy until the Pandaren Water Spirit dies. Go ahead and do a dive. There he goes. We bring in the core hound pup. I'm going to start out with a howl. Go ahead and follow it up with a burrow. Pretty much for that fight with the core hound pup, you're putting all your uh, eggs in one basket. Because if that uh, if RNG doesn't like you and that uh, move misses, yeah, you're uh, SOL. I'm just gonna start thrashing on this guy. Gonna leave him in there until he dies. Go ahead and do a howl. Get some more damage on him. And just pretty much keep on doing any move you can with your core hound pup until he dies. You shouldn't have too much longer, so try to get that owl up there for the next pet. Well, that didn't work out terribly well because the howl went down, but uh, this shit is too hard anyway. Start out with an emulate, then follow it out with a conflagrate, get your bonus damage in there. And he's pretty much dead, I just need to kill off his uh, extra mechanical life here. And that's how you defeat Wingtron 4000 in the Celestial Tournament. If this guide was helpful to you, to you, please like and subscribe. We are at Shade Master Kieran in the Celestial Tournament, and for this fight, I use Lofty Librum, Arcane Blast, Amplify Magic, Curse of Doom, Terrible Turnup with Tidal Wave, Leech Seed, Sunlight, Dark Moon Tonk with Missile, Shock and Awe an ion cannon and we'll see if we can beat the crap out of this guy come closer friend i'm gonna start out with an amplify magic followed up with a curse of doom And 
then I'm just going to start doing Arcane Blast. Uh, if I remember correctly, Naren has this ability that really hurts. So, and a big part of this fight is just avoiding uh, the RNG on that ability. Uh, and we do my Amplify Magic. Do another Arcane Blast. One more Arcane Blast should do it. And there they go. I'm going to go ahead and start out throwing a Curse of Doom on this guy. And now I'm going to bring out my terrible turn up. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Sunlight and change the weather. Seed. Leech seed. Uh, pronouncing, uh, pronouncing stuff is really hard, apparently. Go ahead and do some water jets since, or uh, not water jets, tidal waves since everything else is on cooldown. One more tidal wave should uh, kill off Storm Stormion here. Uh, he'll, of course, he'll come back to life because of his he's uh, his mechanical ability. But we almost got him. Nice thing is we're doing a lot of damage to Summer too. Go ahead and do uh, sunlight and get rid of this weather effect again. And just enough life left to get one more leech seed out. And there he goes. Go ahead and cast Tidal Wave. I don't know if he'll make it. Oh, he's gonna dodge, so literally nothing I can do anyway. His dodge is still up, so I might as well just bring in my Dark Moon Tonk here. Go ahead and start with Shock and Awe. Ouch. <laughs> shock and Awe was enough, though, so that's how you defeat Shademaster Kieran in the CS2 tournament. 